Okay, guys. Wait, I wasn't Good sorry. morning, everybody. It is our last day in Morocco. We <coughs> are about to head over to the market and pick up some souvenir stuff, assuming Abby ever finishes her food. But that's kind of all we have in store. We might camel. It kind of depends on camels. Um, and then leave. We head back to Madrid. Our flight's at 8.30, which is in about like eight, nine hours. So not too bad, but it's gonna be another fun day. Um, Africa was cool. I'll give you guys another review probably in the next video, but um, it's pretty out and Yeah, so I'll talk to you guys when we start moving All right, we made it to the market. We picked up some goodies um, Do you have anything to say? Um, that was successful. We were lost. Yes. And then we found it and you're barely filming. <laughs> no, I am. You're I don't remember what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, we got lost, we found it. Um, <laughs> and now we have some goodies. So, uh, I'll check in with you guys later. All right, we're grabbing some crepe. I don't really know what's going on here, but it looks incredible. You excited? I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm excited. We just had crepes and they were fire. There's like, there's pears so and kiwis. I did, briefly. It was pears, kiwis, blueberries, mango, strawberries, mango, strawberry, chocolate. chocolate, and crepe, and it was great. So um, we're making our way back because we got to check out. All right, officially out of the market for the very last time. Taking in this view. Um, what, what were your thoughts on this trip as a whole? Um, I had fun, but I also, it was definitely just like cultural learning curve. It being like Ramadan and like, where we are in a Muslim country, I don't know. I, I think that's excellent wording, Maddie. Really? I don't it's very, think so. No, it, uh, a cultural learning curve, I think, is a great way to put it. Yeah. Just because, I mean, obviously we didn't do much research before coming here, and then kind of just jumped in, and it's yeah. it's Ramadan in a 99% Muslim country, so that was yeah. different, but I'm glad I did it. It was very unique. Yeah. It's um, very unique. It is so incredibly different to any place I've been so far. Like. The people, the markets, like I've never been in anything like that. Um, a very cool experience. Yes, no doubt. But not many people get to say that they went to Africa when they were 19 and 28. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's kind of the general consensus. I'll give a more detailed one later. Where are you from? United States. United States. Well, we tried to camel, but it, it was too much. We didn't, we don't have cash. Um, but we got to touch a camel. That was pretty cool. That was. Made some weird noises. I don't think it was very happy. No. But uh, yeah, we saw a camel. Woo! All right, we are getting ready to check out of our Airbnb. We have about eight minutes left. Um, made a quick little lunch. Not really. Why do you look at it like that? It's just it's just a tortilla and eggs. We are about to head out and then head towards the airport. Uh, we got to go try and return something first. But um, of course, as always, I will keep you guys updated. All right, we are officially checked out. Um, we're gonna say bye to these cats one last time. Oh, goodbye place. Oh, bye no, kitties. We didn't eat all of our food, so we're giving whatever we have left to them. Um, yeah, hopefully these kitties can go on and live a life. You know, over there. Bye, hi, mommy. Sweet bye, Abby. Bye. Okay. All right, we. Been about 20 minutes trying to get a taxi. We finally got one. Abby's feeling car sick, but we're gonna be alive with our 50 Durham and 10 Euro. Um, we're gonna make it. So here we go. All right, future blue here. I'm editing the video right now, but unfortunately some of the audio didn't work, so I gotta figure that out. But it's working now on this. But basically, you're just gonna miss out on a little travel vlog. Um, but I thought it was more important to explain how Africa was. As a white male, it was pretty straightforward. Um, I never really felt too scared or anything, at least in Tangier, it felt pretty safe. Of course, you're gonna have like the random scammy guys come up to you and try and sell you stuff or tell you to come look in their shop and whatever, but you kind of shrug them off. So it really was a cool trip for me, honestly. The beaches were super pretty. Um, the market was super cool, like nothing I'd ever seen before. And it was definitely fascinating. Um, outside of the beach and market at Tangier, I wasn't exactly sure what to do with the rest of my time. Um, not understanding the language and not doing research probably isn't the 
best idea, but um, I really had to go because I had to get out of the Schengen for a couple days to avoid potential like fines and violations. So that's really why I went, but I'm so happy I did. It is such a cool experience. And like I said earlier, I mean, not many 19 year olds get to say they went to Africa for a week. So super grateful for this opportunity. Thank you guys for tuning in for that. As for more on Abby's side, um, I'm not exactly going to say I'm speaking for her, but based on her, my like understanding of her emotion and watching her go through all of that, it's definitely a little bit more overwhelming if you're a 5'1 blonde girl because everyone's trying to look at you, talk to you, say something. Um, being on the beach, a bunch of the boys would like kick a soccer ball closer to us so they could see her or um, the people on the horses and camels would walk up and kind of pester us for a while, try to get her to do something. Um, but it's definitely overwhelming because of course you're gonna get looked at, you're just different. Um, wearing a bikini, not, you, like you're a minority in a different place. So um, stairs are to be expected, I guess. It's just kind of how you end up dealing with them. Abby, when you see this, you did a great job. Um, very, very proud of you. you. Powered through a couple of difficult moments, but um, moving forward, as for anybody watching this video wondering, hey, can I go to Tangier? Um, the answer is yes. If you're kind of going into it knowing you're not going to know the language, you're not going to know the area, and there's going to be people that aren't used to seeing people like you necessarily, um, and you head in with that mindset, it should be fine and you should be okay just make sure you're, you're being smart you're being safe you're not listening to these scammers who and you're not like doing things you shouldn't be doing definitely don't want to get in trouble out there but overall the experience is i mean once in a lifetime um super unique very very cool so thank you guys so much for joining me on that wild week in africa and i definitely hope to go back to africa again in the future on top of africa i really hope to keep exploring the world over the next couple of years and that i hope you guys follow me through that but um yeah future blue is signing out thank you guys so much for joining me and i will see you guys today i guess Tomorrow, I don't really know how that's gonna work um, for another adventure. So, thank you guys.